Let's go from national to local politics. Now Ford lawmakers expected to gavel their session to a close this Friday if they can settle on a state budget. That's the one thing they're required to do. Let's bring in former state Senate President Mike Kyrdopoulos. He's been through these uh, dramatic final weeks many times. Mike, good to see you again. Thanks for sticking around. My pleasure, Ryan. So the budget deal is almost to a close here. Where do we sit here and what are some sticking points maybe? We're getting really close. Uh, we expect the budget to be on the legislator's desk by Tuesday or Wednesday. That will allow them to close out on Friday because there's what's called a 72-hour cooling off rule. I mean, we want to make sure what's in that budget so the legislators and citizens have three days, 72 hours, to look at that budget, make sure no shenanigans are going on. But we anticipate that that budget will be almost $100 billion. It sounds like a lot of money, but the good news is, despite New York having roughly the same population as ours, it's half the size of the New York budget. Uh, it really is something for sure. Mike, let's talk about this. This caught me off guard a little bit, the gaming pact with the Seminole Tribe. I mean, this wasn't discussed yet. A deal was reached. I know they still have a special session to iron the details out, but your thoughts on this? A big deal here. As you know, right now we have gaming in the state of Florida. The Seminoles have their different casinos around the state. You have what are called paramutual facilities. This is where Greyhound racing used to take place. This is where they have poker rooms, etc. This new deal will mean approximately $500 million a year to the state of Florida. $2.5 billion over the next five years. And by 2030, the Seminoles will have contributed $6 billion to the state budget. But it comes at a cost, meaning that the Seminoles will have the ability, unlike any other facility, to have craps and roulette, which they already have blackjack at this point, and poker, of course. And so this is an expansion of gaming. And probably the biggest piece is we see in Europe more than anywhere else, and that is sports betting. That will be allowed also at these facilities, also at different uh, stadiums around the uh, around the state of Florida. And so there's going to be a big expansion of gaming with it, of course, comes a lot of money, but some of the social ills as well. Yeah, Mike, and some states have actually gone to sports betting this year and expanding that because they're in such dire situations financially. That's not really the case here in Florida. Now we're in pretty good shape. As we mentioned before, we have a balanced budget. We actually have a large rainy day fund. They're, they're trying to figure out new ways to spend this money coming down from Washington. But this was a policy decision made. And, and I, I don't want to get too much into it, but when you negotiate with the Seminole Indians, it's a tough one because the Seminole Indians by the federal government are considered basically an independent country. And so if you don't work out a deal with them, they could usually do these type of things anyway. So the state of Florida, through the leadership of uh, Governor DeSantis, has said, look, if we're going to have this type of relationship, let's at least get some additional funding for schools, roads, et cetera. Let's finish with this. The auto insurance changes. We followed this closely. Where does it stand with the week to go? It is going to be interesting. It's going to come down to probably the last day of session. The, the latest numbers are out. If this new auto insurance bill passes, it would probably mean at the very minimum more uninsured motorists because prices will go up. Right now, almost 25 percent of uh, people on the road are uninsured or underinsured. And if this bill passes, the latest numbers show that it'll increase the rates for lower income people by between $300 and $600 a year. So it'll be a big fight. We'll see how that comes out as the days progress. Mike, sounds good. How involved, real quickly, will Governor DeSantis be in this next week of negotiating? I think he'll be very involved, and I think more than anything else, he's going to be saying, look, if you pass this bill, I'm going to veto it. You might not even want to pass it because it's not going to make you look good. I think the good news to report finally, as I didn't mention, is teachers will be getting that $1,000 bonus in their paycheck. It's something the governor pushed for hard. It looks like that is now a reality. Sounds good, Mike, and that's great news for teachers. Got to leave it there. That is former State Senate President Mike Kiridopoulos. Mike, always appreciate it. Have a great Monday. Thank you, Ryan. All right. Thank you, Jim.